Hi hey guys, and here's another tutorial using Blender. And what we're going to be doing here is, um, again, extruding along a path like we did in our previous tutorial. But this time, as well as the bevel option, we're also going to create a taper object so we can taper and um, shape our um, pipe or our tube or whatever it is that it is uh, that you're creating. So I'll just remove our default object there and I'm going to create a NURBS curve. I'll go to the top view and in our NURBS curve we need to set the end point to U and go into edit mode so this was covered in the previous tutorial, just how we um, can edit these curves to fit the profile that we want to extrude along. Um, so I'm going to name this then our uh, um, extrude path. Um, now I'm going to go back over into object mode and create a circle scale that and we'll move it out of the way and then here we're going to choose our bevel object to be our base uh, circle so we're going to change this to our uh, shape or let's say we'll call it our bevel object so by changing this as we did before you can alter the um, shape that we're making there but this is a uniform shape all the way along that curve there it's the same size and shape all the way along so what we're going to do now is create a path and in the, we'll name our path the taper object and then We'll select that in here. So hold on, did this change? Ah, hold on. This is our path, and this is our taper there. So now path there and our taper object, and then we'll go over into edit mode, and as we drag this out you'll see that we can begin to shape and taper our object there so we can taper it off towards the end or we can create some kind of horn shape So there we go, that is basically how we can use the taper object to create our shape there. Once that's done, we might want to hide our taper object. Oops, we'll go back over into object mode. So we'll hide the taper object and we'll hide our bevel object. So now we just have this left. So there's our shape there. Now, I want to convert this into a mesh, so it'll be um, Alt and C, converted into a mesh, and then I'm going to add a modifier to it, which will be Solidify, and that then gives our object a little bit of thickness and depth to it. So there we have it. That is how you can taper a object which has been extruded along a path. Now you could continue along with this um, if we were to jump over there into edit mode. Um, we can select edges and if we go to select and edge loops that will select the whole loop there We'll go into our top view 
and we can extrude this out. So I'm going to hold down shift so that it will extrude in a straight line there. And then we can scale this. Can extrude again. Scale there. So then when we go back into object mode, there we have our shape, which has been extruded out from the end of our shape which has been extruded along the taper now if we were to make the taper path visible again and go back into edit mode and again we can move these things around but you'll see that now we've converted it into a mesh object it no longer has any effect um, so these objects now they are done with can actually be deleted and you'll see that it has no effect anymore on our shape because this is now its own mesh object it's no longer being controlled by those two um, NURBS objects that we created earlier on so now this is its own mesh object it can be edited as such just through our usual edit tools grabbing vertices and edges and, and pulling them out so I hope that tutorial was useful for you. Um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.